Hello. Is this your husband? Yes, it is. He used to be a lonely soul, so I placed a family picture above his portrait of deceased. Then I believe that he wouldn't feel lonely. Mrs. Suda, who lives in Miyagi, she is 34 years old. Last October, her husband Shotaro passed away only three days after he got vaccinated with the Pfizer vaccine. Shotaro had been looking forward to the birth of his second daughter, Sumira, but couldn't hold her in his arms. He was really looking forward to the birth of our second daughter. Did he decide on a name for the baby? As soon as we found out the gender of the baby, he decided her name, Sumire. Shotaro had no pre-existing disease, took good care of his diet, and was in perfect health. Something extraordinary happened a day after the vaccination. My husband held his chest out of nowhere and said, can't breathe, and he was breathing on his shoulders. So I called the doctor and told him, my husband got vaccinated yesterday, and he seems he has trouble breathing. The doctor said, take some painkillers and see how it goes. Since it's a day after the COVID-19 vaccination, I think it's an adverse reaction. The hospital told her it's a temporary side effect, and he took some over-the-counter painkillers to see how it went. But two days later... My son went upstairs to his bedroom and I heard him say, I'm waking up dad loudly but can't wake him up. I'd got a bad feeling. So I immediately went upstairs to see him. He didn't wake up and looked pale, so I called an ambulance straight away. Then Shotaro passed away in that day. The direct cause of death was circulation insufficiency, a sudden drop in blood flow. The doctor's report stated that the possibility of an adverse reaction to the vaccine cannot be denied. I can't think of anything else but COVID-19 vaccine. You can just say it's undeniable, but I wonder what else there is. But in the end, when you held an autopsy, you can't do anything because nobody knows that the vaccine was the cause. Almost a year has already passed, but how do you feel now? My daughter always stares at parents and children on the street. She keeps asking me, when will daddy come back home? If only I had been aware of the riskiness of COVID-19 vaccine, I might have been able to save him. After her husband's death, Mrs. Suda started to share her experience on Twitter. She hopes that it would help others. However, more than half of the initial reactions were very negative. Wow, those are terrible. This is the direct messages. I hope you have a miscarriage. But lately, there's been a growing concern about COVID-19 vaccine adverse reactions and more positive comments. Do you feel that the understanding of the risks of vaccines is gradually expanding since the government encouraged vaccination? I strongly feel it. It probably shows on the comments of my Twitter posts. Some people still slander me, but it has decreased a lot. And then... The government did nothing to help us when he actually died after the vaccination, even though they had recommended the vaccination. She began attending lectures on the COVID-19 vaccine and actively sharing her own experiences. Fourth grader son, also came up to the podium to spoke on his own and shared what's on his mind now. My dad passed away because of the vaccine, and I feel so bad it's never been admitted by the government. I wanted to play with my dad more, 
go to a lot of places and wanted him to teach me basketball. There is a basketball hoop in the yard at home. It's a present from Shotaro to his son. Every week when he was off in nice weather, we went outside and played basketball together. After my husband passed away, my son became a bit demotivated, and I really didn't see him practicing in the yard anymore. She abruptly lost her ordinary days due to the death of her husband. Mrs. Suda is now raising four kids on her own, plans to return to part-time job soon, but she is still unsure whether she'll be able to raise her kids only with her own income. We are also living off our savings for the time being. However, I always want to make sure that there should be no obstacles in front of my kids in the future. So I'm thinking about it all the time. Every evening she picks up her oldest daughter and second son from daycare with Sumia. It's really tough being a mom, isn't it? It is a really tough thing. I can do a lot of things while carrying my daughter in one hand. Nevertheless, her eldest son, who is in the fourth grade, has started to Welcome become back. somewhat dependable. Not only helping household chores, but he wants to support his mom who's fighting for the risks of the vaccines. I'm going to help her too. I'm going to talk about the memory with my dad as well. I want to go to many places with my mom and tell a lot of people what happened to my dad. So you and your son will tackle the government together? I believe so. I think that my son and I share the same feelings of sadness, frustration, and anger of losing our dad. I'd like to work together with him, supporting each other, and I would like to do my best with him. In the living room, there is a picture. Picture of Shotaro holding his lovely baby, Sumir, in his arms. He is watching them from the sky. So the family of five can keep fighting together. 